Hey everybody, Travis here. Figure around and find out. Heather on the camera. For those of you not in the south, those are cicadas screaming overhead. Uh, we're out here working in the garden this morning. Baby, show them. We're uh, switching out between hot weather and, yeah, just show them that side too. Hot weather and cool weather crops. Do it at one bed at a time. Getting stuff out, new stuff planted, broad forking. And uh, just a real short video today. I posted videos before about broad forks. This is not really about broad forks, but about how much difference uh, the work we've done has made in the soil. Now, if you'll look right there, you can still see there's clay and stuff that's coming up when I'm broad forking this. Uh, and when I show you the one that I'm about to do, you'll see that it's probably going to pull up a pretty big divot. So let me get it done and I'm going to show you what's different about it. Actually, I'll start you right there. All the way to the damn footrest. We weren't doing that last year. Couldn't do that last year. The soil was just too damn hard. So we're going about six inches deeper than we did last year. Five, five or six inches. And I might have taken too big of a bite there. Yeah. But see, not that still works. You can see I'm covered in sweat and panting a little bit from doing this this part here. But what I want to point out to you is that the work she and I have done. on this garden patch, including broad forking to break the ground, tilling to further break it, because that's the only way to break this ground, a tiller will bounce right off it. And unbroken soil, like when we expand that way, it pulls up a whole ass divot that you then have to put in the ground cockeyed so it doesn't fall right back into place. Then our borrowed tiller from a good friend Bob, hi Bob, can bust up those divots, but it can't cut into the ground. But even though this is still pulling up divots, and it's still a fair amount of work, the fact is that I'm able to sink the tines to the full 14 inches, I think it is, or are these 12? It's 14. Yeah, I think they're 14. Uh, I'm still able to sink it all the way down. Couldn't do that last year. And that's with my 400 pound ass on it. Uh, so there's still work to be done, clearly. But I'm able to sink the fork farther into the ground and pull that whole thing up and something that I couldn't do when breaking new ground is this. Once the divot's up, just bust it up with some torsional movement of the fork. Uh, so yeah, broad fork and tilling. Uh, Composting. Last year, two truckloads of composted horse manure and pine shavings. This year, two truckloads, uh, and that's a literal pickup bed, pickup truck bed, loads, uh, about a yard each, each load. Uh, two loads of mushroom compost from Winwood Garden Service Center over here on 2A in Fort Oglethorpe. And it still worked. It still worked, but holy shit, is it getting better and we've done things like add mycorrhiza and uh like micronutrients and beneficial microbes oh hell, hell baby show them the roots that where we just pulled the tomatoes and shit up like I mean, look at all the root growth uh, you can see we've got had some really seriously strong roots on our plants and, and this is just what's left in the, the soil yeah come out when she pulled the whole plant out 
So yes, in addition to the broad forking and the tilling and the compost, uh, all the soil amendments she has used, earthworm castings, bioactive superchargers that have like uh, enzymes, bacteria. It has unquestionably and like micronutrients. The action of the roots in the soil have unquestionably helped aerate this shit and make that I mean I can't say for sure but I'm thinking maybe next year uh, when we broad fork this again I'd say probably in the spring right baby mm -hmm. I dare say that after this broad forking, which will be followed by the addition of two wheelbarrow loads of our hot compost back here that I've been working hard on this year. <laughs> hard on. Uh, Look at it. Up it comes, and it mostly busts. So, when she ain't filming, I'm having Heather come along behind me with the hoe. And bust up the clumps. But yeah. It also yeah. didn't take as long this time as it usually does. No. No, no, no. Yeah, so I'm gonna show it on camera. Found this in our soil. Definitely not anything that we've done. So, anyway, yeah, just a real quick update. I took us what? Maybe 30 minutes, all told. 30 minutes plus a water break to, uh, to get that broad fork. So, yeah, if you're, if you're out there playing in the dirt, keep it up. Work that soil. Work it intelligently. Uh, there's ways to work hand in hand with Mother Earth and uh, not have to resort to excessive chemical bullshit and excessive mechanical manipulation. And plus, quite frankly, it's good for your body to do the work. So, uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to takes a water break here and get the composting so anyway i'm uh travis that's heather this is figure around and find out coming to you from black fig farms at kilgore's landing chester roast in beautiful and scenic rossville georgia uh like subscribe comment all that shit ring the bell hope uh hope your garden's going well keep it up out there